In Australia today, Serena Williams reclaimed her throne as queen of the court. Meg Oliver has the story. It was a sister showdown once again between Serena and Venus Williams. It all came down to this fierce rally. A mistake by Venus and Serena was on the ground, racket held high. With her fiance Alexis Ohanian cheering her on, Serena reclaimed the top spot in the world in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4. Her older sister Venus was gracious in defeat. It was the ninth time they've met in a Grand Slam title. Back to number one in the world. It was no surprise Serena thanked Venus first. There's no way I would be at 23 without her. There's no way I would be at one without her. There's no way I would have anything without her. She's my inspiration. She's the only reason I'm standing here today. Serena's statistics are staggering. This is the 23rd time she's held up a Grand Slam winner's trophy and her seventh Australian Open title. That puts her ahead of Steffi Graf for the most major titles in the Open era. CBS Sports reporter Dana Jacobson. Her age to both the Williams sisters means nothing. They brought in a power game of tennis to the women's tennis game. It was so different. And now they've taken it to the next step of saying, forget just power tennis. Now age isn't a factor. Although the spotlight is on Serena, Venus's comeback is definitely worth noting. In 2011, the 35 year old was diagnosed with Sjogren's syndrome, an energy sapping illness. So Venus comes back and then wins, and comes back and wins to get to a finals against her own sister. Again, it just seems like there's nothing that the Williams sisters can't do. Serena received a congratulatory letter and a custom pair of shoes from Michael Jordan, the name most synonymous with 23. Rena, what a nice surprise and a fitting salute. Meg Oliver, thank you.